Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Frank and today we're doing something kind of cool. I'm going to be comparing two big staples in the resin printing world. We're going to be talking about the Elegoo Mars Pro and the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro and seeing how they compare to each other. So Elegoo sent these things to me quite a while ago, and I'm sorry the review video is taking this long, but it's a kind of cool thing I got to do. They initially sent me the original Mars Pro, but then later on they sent me the Mars 2 Pro. It gave me the opportunity to compare the two and really put them to the test. But through my use and testing of these printers, and I promise you I really did put them through their paces, one of them clearly stood out as just a better printer. Let's take a look. The toolkits basically come with all of the same stuff except in the original Mars Pro. They give you a little cup for the resin and the two they don't. I guess they realized nobody was using it and it really didn't help you out much. A pretty easy to understand user manual, a couple extra parts, nippers for cleaning up your supports, a scraper that I would never use on the surface anyway, a plastic scraper which you're going to break all the time, um, some gloves, masks, a strainer, and I really really like this thing. It took me actually a couple minutes to figure out what it was for, but it's a little adapter that lets you hang your build surface above the vat so all the resin can drip and run back in. Pretty cool. Now, construction-wise, they're basically the same thing with the Mars 2 Pro being just a little bit bigger on the build surface. Definitely noticeable when I was slicing some of the smaller prints and really needed that little bit extra space. You'll also notice that these now have a Fulament flexible build surface. Big shout out to Fulament for sending me these flex build plates. These make popping off the resin prints super, super easy. Just flex the plate and they come right off. And I'll link these down below. They were super easy to install and definitely helped with a few of my adhesion issues that I was having. Now user interface and firmware wise, they operate exactly the same, but I do need to point out in order to use Chidubox now, if you're using the basic free version, you do need to go and flash the firmware on both printers so they can read the CTB files that Chidubox puts out or else you're gonna be putting files on here that you sliced and it's not gonna be able to read it. Super easy to do. I'll link a video down below, the same video I followed to flash the firmware, but super basic systems, nothing that's really gonna confuse anybody. They did a good job at laying everything out. Um, basically all resin printers use the same user interface and firmware and it's uh, really not hard to understand. What I did to these printers was I utilized them actually for my Etsy shop. I was printing arc reactors. I was printing a bunch of different things, getting them ready for my shop over and over and over and over again. And while the 2 Pro didn't miss a beat the entire time, the original Mars Pro started to fall off near the end. Right out of box, I had some serious leveling issues with the original Mars Pro. I watched a few tutorials, I really tried to dial in how to level a resin printer, but I was still having issues with it. However, the 2 Pro over here, I didn't have a single problem with. The first couple prints on the original Mars Pro that I was able to get off did start to work out once I dialed into leveling and really had to do some fine tuning. But over time, some weird things started to happen. I started getting weird lines in my print and I couldn't get them to go away, as well as them being a lot more brittle and some of the initial layers not curing properly. Now, I'm sure one or two of you might be screaming at the screen right now being like, you just didn't do this. I did look, I tried to fix it, and I was using a multitude of different resins. I went through a couple different brands and they all performed great on the Mars 2. But I just had some major inconsistencies with the original Mars Pro that I couldn't really get rid of. I I printed over 50 of these arc reactors on the 2 Pro without it missing a beat. So with all that guys, I definitely have to say the 2 definitely proved its worth over the 1. It's just the normal succession of things as things progress in 3D printing. The newer models typically are going to be get better and I think this definitely proves it. For just anywhere between 30 to 50 extra dollars, you can grab the 2 Pro over the original one, find them on Elegoo's website, you get pretty good deals on them. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns about anything in the video, please let me know, leave a comment down below. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have more resin printing videos coming out, a lot of trial and error that I've gone through, especially on the larger things and a lot of cool upcoming projects. So definitely make sure you subscribe. One last huge thank you to Elegoo for sending me these printers and being so patient with me. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody who helped me out through this resin printing journey. But that's a wrap for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and you have a good day. And on the faces, whoop. Good thing it's resin.